the heck is you guys' talking about? What the heck? What the heck? Get Peter over here, God damn it! I don't want this logo anywhere oh, near you're my scorching forehead. Stuck under How dare the logo. you? you may... no How about protocol. this? Let's put the senior That's citizens cool. down below, and then uh, oh. <laughs> the, the hat guys. <laughs> you guys, you guys is guys is starting with insoles right away. Yes. Let me just welcome Elmire to the show. We have Peter here, Papa B as usual, and of course special guests tonight is or this afternoon or this morning for everybody that's waking up on the west coast uh, crispy man who is the head on show of hexfire.io welcome to the show thank you thank you hey, Everyone, good to see you guys yeah crispy uh, let me just give a little intro here in case you don't know crispy man first of all crispy man it's been a long time since since i've seen you heard you talk to you i apologize it's been far too long we used to talk every day Elmire, Crispy Man, and I uh, shared uh, roles as uh, admins on the Hex Chat, uh, he the Hex Telegram, Hex.com Telegram uh, uh, live the Pulse Chain video chat, and later the Pulse Chain as well. All the way from sacrifice, oh my God, what do I do? To oh my God, why do I need a hardware wallet? To oh my God, is the T share rate going to go up? which crispy man would always be the one to edify people on all the technicals in the background and all these calculations that he had been doing because he where we are losing papa is i'm i'm a robot i'm robot papa so check this out fuck your um, shit bro so crispy would lay it down. everything you do on a chart is fucking <laughs> where Bob? All right, all right. That's what I wanted. Sorry. <laughs> hold on. So, hold on. Hold on. God damn it. Settle down. Settle down. Hold are on, you, God damn are it. you there? I'm not as smart as Bob. While Puppy B fixes his shit um uh, just say hi to the chat real quick we got hexiness okay. b who was first this okay. morning nom nom is slacking got avalon in the house nom nom is here and dj dougie mrs avalon orion alan fizzame we got the got the crew here hexaqueen the lovely hexaqueen who might be on the show next week um uh, oh red squirrel alan fizzame He's, he's banned line. from being on the show, isn't he? Aleph is a May. Wait, the part time tuning inner, <laughs> you mean? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. If Alan, if Alan came, if Alan came to the show, Alan, by the way, it's Alan Fizame. Mm -hmm. um, if Alan Fizame would come onto the show, it would warm the cockles of my schnockles. I would love for him to be on the show, of course. It's, it's Alan. Uh, it should be Alon. He's down from Elon. Boston. I think. We need to, we need to make that happen. Doxing, doxing. So okay. So back to, back <laughs> back, back to, to your intro story. Back to me so you guys before I was rugged, and and proof positive that in green room when I say let me just twinkle with the stinkle before we go on, you don't say okay go live. No, that's that's not what you do. Okay, so <laughs> crispy. So like I said, back to my whole intro for crispy is he used to unfurl this huge wizard's beard of information and i would be instantly put to sleep but of course it was very imp important information to get to know but the 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 the, the minutiae the the inner workings of what he likes to tinker with with mathematics is so far beyond what you see on the website he's really put a lot of this, the background logic that he's been 
calculating and formulating in the back. He used to go really down deep into it. And I said to you, Crispy, and correct me if I'm wrong, I said to you, you should make this digestible and easy for people to see in one graphic interface. And what did you do? Nothing. <laughs> for I a whole it, year. <laughs> I made it I made it harder. I made it harder. Um, hey, I'm finally getting around to that though. Yeah. Well, no, Hex Fire is a great step forward because people are quoting it they're they're referring back to it they're they're bringing out their little rulers and they're they're putting it across the screen in their living room i guess and figuring out what to do because you finally did it you made your site and 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 you're welcome for me to make you do the site i, I did it me i i got him to do it <laughs> i give you 100 well, percent credit oh, thank you. I, I should say that before the site was up that chris man did uh, me and some friends actually discussed creating something like that. And we thought, okay, we need this, that, the other. We can get this information here, this information, that. And we reached a point, no, that's too much work. We have a, we have a 40 uh, hour work week. Uh, no, but we, someone else is do it. will do it. And hold it me whole, someone did because this community is the best. But, <laughs> it is, we needed it, it. We needed it. So thank you, Crispy. Thank you no, for thank that. You. Thanks for the good words, guys. You know how I got into that whole thing is uh, like Papa said, just looking at the data, and then one day that T-shirt where he went up, and I didn't know it was going up, and I was like, "Why did it go up? There's got to be a way to figure this out." So that's that's how it started. Speaking of going up, can you bring him up to up center there, DJ Cryptomatic, so he can be featured as the guest? Nobody John. cares about Elmire, the regular. It's yeah. Crispy Man that we got to showcase. I don't know, um, Papa. I like, I like the bottom. <laughs> so you're a bottom? Is that what you're saying? Woo -woo. Okay. <laughs> I can be. Bottom oh. is there. Can, can you tell us where did you get all the information that feeds into the website from? Oh, sure. Sure. So, you know, our community is pretty robust, right? And you guys remember back in the beginning, we didn't have a whole lot of information like this available. And, uh, you know, we were all copy pasting, right? Or you would try to pull a thousand records from Etherscan. Uh, but, but, you know, um, Ethereum and blockchain in general has come along a, a long way. And then you've got these great resources out there like Hex Daily Stats and uh, a guy by the name of Kodiak who built the, um, the Hex, uh, the Hex subgraph and, as well as, uh, Alex over at Hedron, who who built a similar subgraph, and so um, yeah, it's still still a little bit piecemeal, but we got a lot more data now. We got a lot more data, and so that's where. So those are some of the, some of the places I pull from. Uh, used to, you know sometimes the sources go away. You know, like I, I used to pull a lot of information from Nomics, but uh, they went, you know, they went paid, right? On most of the stuff that I want to get. And so then you you have to face that type of stuff. But, uh, but yeah, so Etherscan, Subgraph, X Daily Stats, you know, all those things. X Screener is a big one too. I remember um, Trevon James, uh, like one two years ago, he he mentioned once on his stream that he said it's very hexagon to have a statistic for everything. Why why do you think? that is in uh in hex why do you think that is such a like a theme that really goes throughout because in the beginning we had hex info i remember during the adoption amplifier days we had uh of course hex.vision which which is still there and what kind of made you th uh create your own like were you not happy with those websites or was there really things missing that you wanted more and in depth well, of course, Hex Info doesn't isn't up any longer, right? Or Hex yeah. Live, I think maybe it was yeah. called. They he was rogue. Eventually, <laughs> he's a <Yeah>. wise guy. <laughs> um, well, I, I think the answer answer your first question, which is, why do I think the hexagons go? Some hexagons go real deep into this. It's yeah. it's a finished product. It's based on mathematics, right? And so everything's a calculation. And one of the ways I think people can prove to themselves that it works as described is by doing the math, right? And so some people have a natural inclination to kind of follow that thread. I have a question. Yeah, not 
Uh, sorry, go ahead, Almar. Yeah, not only that, but we are actually one of the cryptos that has stats to <laughs> to attract, <clears throat> and the mechanism that is self-balancing and it works flawlessly, right? All the others only have price, and that's it. Mm -hmm. But and price and promises, yeah, that's why it's price maybe, and promises, yeah, yeah, and, and, and uh, McDonald's so deals and have, uh, yeah, exactly, <laughs> Boeing <laughs> partnership and and all this crap. And we like to say proof of math in hacks and and prove, like to prove our points basically with then statistics. So it makes sense that it's very hexagon. But I've not never seen any other crypto community like this where you even though it wasn't as refined as what we have today now with hexfire.io right from the beginning there were certain statistics sites uh, i think even in the first first month of uh, hex launching and uh, so that's something very special about this yeah. community C crispy man i got a question and this is a question to, to for everyone to kind of mull over but pointed to crispy um do you think that when richard was designing hex uh, remember that extra year of delay, right? Do you think that what you are doing is kind of uh, looking at this like a mathematical paleontologist? You're 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 uncovering things that maybe it's lost alchemy that Richard already had on his whiteboard and on his computer screen before he launched Hex. Do you feel that you're trailing that, or do you think that Richard's like looking over your shoulder saying, "Wow, that's really a cool way of looking at it. I didn't know that it really would do that in that way." Because that's my image, but but you're representing it on this step scale and more granularity, and uh, and I didn't even consider that. So you're uncovering something amazing, which draws the greatest minds into Hex and sticks them into the actual community and keeps them tinkering about it. Do you think it was Richard had this concept already built and you're uncovering it, or you think you're really breaking ground yourself and teaching everyone something? Um, well, I think it's a little bit of both. I think that I think that the design um, clearly was well planned out, but I don't know that all results were anticipated, right? You know, and like Richard talks about that sometimes, like the like the idea that there would be periods of time early that made sense to emergency end stake in order to restake, like that was unanticipated that that made any sense, you know. Um, and a lot of this was an experiment. I mean, who knew that people would, would lock up for 15 years? And then that kind of goes back to the, like the other point about why this kind of area is interesting. Yeah, the other coins and tokens out there, they don't have a lot going on like this. But if you're part of the staker class, what are you doing? You're you, you're waiting for stakes. <laughs> so if if, you, if that's your if or you put on a stream like this, yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, so you, <laughs> yeah. to pass the time, really. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I think all facets of that pop up, but I, yeah, I do think that there's some of the you know maybe there's some new nuances, right? Yeah. New nuances. At the beginning, there were some more Monte Carlo uh, simulations that were done to try to understand how the system would behave long term mm -hmm. but i mean it's hard to predict how many people will actually stake 15 years out mm -hmm. and how all the metrics will pan out when real people with real feelings and ups and downs in life are interacting with the contract and doing the staking on the emergency in staking or just because they found something new on the block and they decide to just abandoned ship uh, and you can only predict so far right you just put the me mechanism working and then it runs itself I guess. Yeah, yeah yeah a lot of things that i work on are like uh, they're academic right i mean like I, I get a kick out of whales because he'll say we already know this and i know he i know we already know it but a lot of what i a lot of what i'm working on that comes out the other end it's just proving that what I already knew, right, which is like the share price goes up, um, you know, those types of things that, that pay out varies based on staking behavior. I mean, we all we you kind of know that. But when you start digging a little bit deeper, maybe there's actionable sh stuff, you know, that you can actually do something with. Maybe maybe it's not actionable for me because I, I'm already staked, but maybe it's actionable for some new guys coming in to kind of get the idea, you know about what, right. what's happening and, and the beautiful thing for me of having actual numbers in mathematics to show 
what we are actually preaching to be true is that we come as actual people that know what they're talking about. Uh, and I, I listen to people preaching about new tokens and new coins and new staking mechanisms and new whatever, and they are pulling numbers out of the ha their hats <laughs> without no clue what they're saying, without showing any proof of what they're saying. And people just hear numbers that sound good and they just, okay, this project sounds amazing. But when you start pulling the thread, you see that there's nothing to show for. It's yeah. only their imagination that's right. running wild. Well, certainly in the beginning, right? And this is where, so we all get, I think not all of us, but I mean, I think people get biased sometimes with the current shiny object, right? <laughs> And because we're we're dealing with with hex that's been flawless over three years and it operates and you have all this, we sometimes people sometimes attribute those things to these new things, right? Like uh, we're all together in this community and we're working on this and it works great. And now this guy who's part of the community is building something new. Of course, it's going to work the same way. It's going to be immutable. It's going to <laughs> you know work like clockwork. And maybe it does, but you but it doesn't no, have. The, it we doesn't. don't have the yeah, three years. But being, Im <laughs> so being immutable, didn't. being immutable doesn't mean it works <laughs> properly that, or as intended, right? <laughs> being immutable is just a, a word that people throw around. Oh, it's immutable, so it's probably like a hundred percent fine. Mm. Like, no, there's many more facets to that, I think. Is more yeah, and people throw immutable, no admin keys. So the idea they have is perfect. Yeah. And it's like, okay, but did you think about what happens if the fees go up? Did you think what happens if the um, the liquidity pool that you're binding whatever refraction mm -hmm. token uh, stops working? It's the whole game theory. Or aspect, if people right? use another liquidity pool. Yeah. Or if you people don't think about all the the detail, details that are not controllable by them and impact but in turn impact their the behavior of their coin when they're trying to make it very broad and generic peter it's shut up you're too talkative <laughs> what can i say i expect that i expected that we will have more fun and uh, like uh, not this hard conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I have I have a joke to play. Can we before we look at the hexfire.io uh, website? But no, even even more importantly, we need to see if our channel is still holding up. What about this price performance? Huh? So this is the oh. the little channel that we drew last week. You see, beautiful <sighs> channel seven. Isn't that isn't that a thing of beauty? Like. Wow, it just goes and goes and goes. <laughs> the stairway to heaven. It, it, it to heaven. goes until, until it doesn't. Until it doesn't. So <laughs> it doesn't when doesn't. that's until the question, did you, do you have any any ideas what, what will happen next? Because I think the RSI is still looking very healthy, if that's a metric. The MACD had a, just a little correction is now making an attempt at new highs. So I think this has no financial advice, of course, and no forward making price statements. We are not allowed to do that because we're not financial advisor. We're just some dudes. But I think if we're nothing fans. else, we're just fans, only fans. Uh, fans. Heck. No, not, not only fans. <laughs> fans, only. fans only. We're only fans. fans. Only. Yeah. fans so if only nothing, one. nothing happens in the broader markets, I think this has way more like uh, to go what do you think crispy when you look at this i i, I measured from the current price to mm -hmm. uh, the last time we were at this kind of level on the way yep. up up to the top it was like a 90 100 day time period from this price to the old time high something like that wow is that i, I don't know if you see that on your screen but that, i think that's what i came up with so okay. um I, I don't know that that i don't I, I honestly don't think that's going to happen, maybe, but maybe it could happen. I don't know. I, I've i been hanging around a lot with um, with Axis Alive, you know, kind of digging in. And I'm, so now I'm learning about what liquidity is and all this other stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, 
just trying to understand more about it. And clearly, clearly, <laughs> oh, that Alan in the chat. He's quoting me as 100 days to all time high. All right. If it happens, <laughs> if, it, no. if it happens, I'll take credit for it. If it doesn't happen, I never said it. Right. It's more like um, this, Archie. It's more like this. It's but DJ. yeah, yeah, you know, you know, <laughs> you know that's one of the, taken serious. It's one of the analysis I've been looking at lately is what you know what percentage of um, of hex is really up for sale, and that's where this whole scarcity presentation that I did a couple of days ago was about. It's just me going through my thought process of figuring out, you know, that I think there's really only about ten billion hex um, available to be put on the yeah. market. And okay. less than a half of a percent is on the market, and that and that's a downtrend. Not even it's not even an uptrend. It's it's been on a downtrend for two years. Um, so one could evaluate that as being we're getting more and more scarce. Yeah, scarce. It's the diamond and the marbles that Johnny Chaos keeps mm -hmm. ranting on about that people underestimate. Speaking you know? of marbles, we have markables. Markables dirty has arrived. I want Welcome. all the marbles. Give me Welcome all the marbles. to the show. Yay, you're not you're not getting my marbles. He's lost his marbles. <laughs> I don't care about diamonds. I want marbles. Griffey, <laughs> when is all time high for marbles? Please. <laughs> I don't know. I don't... Great question. I, I don't know. I have somebody following me on Twitter that that says oh. that I talk like I have marbles in my mouth. So it's a good subject, right? So <laughs> I, that's my my little troll, right? Uh, that's nice. Uh, All time high for me. So did Vito Actually, Corleone, so it's okay. On the yeah, on the chart, uh, I just want to say one thing, which also is part of our ongoing segment of cool. coming soon. Uh, that on the Monday, I believe it was that Richard posted this tweet um, with the screenshot of the bug is dead. So uh, it's like uh, the bug is the dead. Bug. Long live the Long bug. Long live the bug, yes. Um, and immediately the price pumped. Now about a cent or so from uh, from the lows that we that we had and uh so it's definitely a correlation that people have some kind of expectation i think about the v3 uh pulse chain so if we have another serious delay or then i'm a bit concerned about the the channel we just looked at what do you guys think you guys is Serious delay means well, that we are doing things right because that means that we are testing it and we're poking holes in it and we found something that needs to be improved before we launch yeah. it. We don't want to have things being stopped like Solana or uh, having to be reorged like uh, Matic or Polygon or whatever you want to call it nowadays. Uh, is yeah. that correct? Did I get that one right? Was it Polygon that got the screw Yeah, up? yeah. It was. Polygon. Polygon. Okay, so anyway, continue. <laughs> Go ahead, Amaya. Polygon. I see, I see. Uh, I see Polygon. exactly like uh, <clears throat> Elon tweeting about Dogecoin. Like when when Richard that tweets, is that is my worry. Yes, tweets That's good it. news yeah. price up when bad news price down. That well, is either my way, concern at the moment. Yeah. If you're DCAing, if you're DCAing, uh, a dump is not that bad. Actually, I'm fifty percent. Up on my DCA at seven point five. So, well yeah. done. That, that's how you how you played. Then also today he responded to to this thing here, which is you know one of our beautiful Neuschwanstein. This is Neuschwanstein <laughs> Castle in Germany. It's very nice. Why did humans being uh, being stop building things like this? Because they uh, want to add war with each other with the swords and the bows and the arrows <laughs> and the boiling uh, oils and the things like this. Yeah, so in the Bavaria, rumor has it that we had a gay king and he built this kind of thing. And the then. King Ludwig! <laughs> and he said people stopped caring. And uh, I think this is the overall message that he is now pivoting away. <laughs> the response like, okay, who hacked Richard Hartwitz? <laughs> <laughs> um, that he's pivoting away now from the outrage marketing, which is very refreshing to yeah. see. Uh, so salute I, Richard. I mean, what happened 
he tweeted awesome like flexing is boring. Flexing what is boring. The, exactly. What the heck? Wow. What the heck? Like, what, the, what the, what the heck? Heck's? Yeah. On Remember that. Remember, Richard one. said it, at one what point, if it wasn't if it wasn't giving him the returns, or he got bored of it, he would move on to something else. And lo and behold, Peter, now you have your I'm bored. I'm moving on to something else. Yes. Now, when I got used to his outrage marketing, he's he's pivoting. What I mean, like. Come yeah, on. I'm out. I'm I'm definitely outraged. I'm, I'm selling my eggs. <laughs> I'm outraged for the You're selling your eggs. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm loading up. I am. I have enough of this. <laughs> let's do. Let's do something new. Yeah, and I sold I everything the moment I didn't see Gucci bags anymore. Oh, yeah, I know exactly. Exactly right. That that was that was the top. <laughs> Prada, Prada. That was the top. Uh, <laughs> the top, yeah. Definitely a top. Player. And the top. then uh, surprisingly today we had a. An RG3 in uh, in distress. Can you hear that? What in cousin fucking hell is this white shit coming down? Oh, snow in in Los Angeles. Yeah. Oh no. That's, that's white just falling out of the sky. I'm sorry, folks. Must be apocalypse. You conspiracy theorists. You're right. <laughs> this is dogs and cats living together. Come on, that that. And the moment. Craziness, insanity. California kids have never seen snow come down before. All right, get this shit off. Come on now. Listen. Even in Dubai, there can be snow. Look, look. Last time it snowed in LA, I was in high school. So you can imagine it doesn't happen often. That's eons ago. Centuries ago. Centuries ago it happened. There's snow in San Diego. Global global warning. That's ridiculous. I've never heard of snow global in San Diego. Warning? Global warning. Wor- warming. Global <laughs> warning. Global <laughs> warming. <laughs> and anyway, back to back. Right. You know, yeah. Lead us through your your damn website, and so we can we can move on to stuff that uh, Markable uh, was was a dirty hippie over a vacation. He's been gone forever. Peter's got COVID, as you can see. He's trying to breathe. Nice. And uh, we want it. We want to move on to the important things. Barely surviving. Hexfire. Hexfire. <laughs> Show us the goodies. Hexfire.io. Do you have a screen to share? And then yeah, I'll throw one up here. Show us the marble. Do do. Yep. Do do do. Oh yes. When Bob's. When Bob. When Bob. You guys, you guys create all these memes and stuff, you know. Now, yeah, you it's create amazing. websites. We create memes. Yeah, I know With you treasure guys. Treasure chests. What's in those treasure chests? That's what we I win. What hey, I, I was. Yeah. Hey, listen, I'm just trying my artist, artistic capabilities. So. <laughs> <laughs> that was a nothing, a nothing, a nothing oh, burger. No. <laughs> so, That's no good. Don't so, give so, me that. Oh. So Briz gave me some pictures to throw in here, and I'm just kind of testing some functionality. <laughs> Beautiful. So, so as I've been as I've been working on this, I've been uh, I have the um, the original site up is kind of a little bit more uh, data centric, and so now I'm reskinning to see what what works, what doesn't work, and try to bring some information up. A couple things that I worked on, I think you guys would like to see a lot of. Well, would like to see are things like this. So you know, every every month we get the guy coming in that says it says in chat. Uh, you see the seven billion that's getting that's coming out this month. The world's ending, yeah. right? And yeah. so maybe maybe that's me as a noob coming in saying that I don't know any better, um, mm-hmm. which happens. I mean, I think I even said that in the beginning, right? And then uh, or or you're uh, fudding in order to help drive that price down. That, or maybe that's how we other. know that some that's someone new in the community. It's it's talking or tweeting because they say that <laughs> yeah yeah and so it's this like is a, right of <laughs> it means we're so growing th- this is a few days out you know that i did this a few days ago but at the time we were at t- over 20 percent of all stake that had been hex or all hex that had been staked i guess <laughs> stakes that have been hexed is good too um all all the hex that was staked um mm. was less than one year and so I did a little bit of time travel with this one to go back and look at specific dates in the past. And just for, I thought it was a fun thing to do to kind of answer this question. What does the um, bow wave look like? And so if you go all the way back to October of 22, you can, you would be looking forward in, 
in the first 30 month or 30 day increment or for first month increment this is what was coming out in the first month the second month all the way out to 12 months and you can see as you progress in time it does change in shape a little bit and stakes that are out far farther in the look ahead move back but pretty much every month you can say the same thing that there's a lot coming out this month and why I think that's important is because we know that we can look at what people actually do with that and we know that they're restaking. And how can I tell you that for sure is I can go look at um, the charts here. Let's do the trend charts. I go look at some charts that I put up for this. Um, and I can show you that the that the amount of hex coming out in the next 30 days as measured from each date, each hex date, is trending up. So the 30 day, then that's stakes that are that are uh, coming out in the next 30 days, is trending up. But when I go to the 60 day increment, it's been neutral. And if I go out to 90 days, it's actually trending down a little bit. Um, so these are some of the things that I'm digging into and, you know, coming up with as I as I look at it. Uh, now that you me mentioned this, I watched you uh, talk about this, this on yesterday's stream with Madi, and I actually had a few questions about the previous uh, charts, if you can go back to it. Yeah, sure. sure. The, the one where, where the, you have the, the columns, the, the 12 month, uh, no, no, the 12 months. Oh, uh, oh, this, one, wave. this one or the other one? All right, the, the yeah, one, the, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, um, I assume you only did 12 months and not before, right? Um, I have this for every day of hex, but... Um, I, I was asking because why? I, I believe, and I think you mentioned this also, that a, um, a lot of these uh, um, smaller length stakes uh, have been increasing, uh, mainly due to people waiting for Pulse chain or expecting pulse chain to come up soon. I can speak for myself, and I'm doing the same because I want to have two different staking strategies on the different chains. So I have a portion of my my stakes very, uh, which are very short range, like one month to three months. Um, and I believe that has been increasing basically during the, this past two years since, or one and a half years since pulse chain was announced. Um, and I w wanted to to, under, uh, to know if you have a chart that would corroborate that or not. Um, oh, sure, sure. And uh, the other thing is that uh, if you go to access.vision and you will actually put the, um, try to vial, uh, visualize in graphic form the amount of X that ended up uh, where it stakes ended, versus the ones that are going to end i think we can have a bigger a better idea of how much x actually was already in staked versus what is going to be in staked from now on and see that in the past the the amount of tokens that were that were coming out of the stakes were actually a lot higher than the ones that are coming out on the next year which is for me, bullish because it was on the phase that X actually had the highest rise. So, yeah, understood. I I hundred percent understand where you're headed with that. I, that's a good observation. A lot of people kind of gloss over that that there were days where there were many many more billions um, coming out into the system than today. Um, so, it it wouldn't be probably not hard for you to believe that this is this was a very complicated. Um, you know, calculation. But yes, I, you know, I just pick these months and these dates to show on the screen because I can't fit them all, you know. And so we could go back to, you know, the first month, the second month, the sixth month, and just compare what this would look like. And how this is unique is it's not, this is not necessarily what happened. It's what it looked like as a user if you pulled up Hex Vision you know, at the, at that particular time, you would have looked into the future and if you had added them up, it would look like this. 
um, and, and as that much was coming out. And the reason for that is I just wanted to be able to add some more to um, answering the FUD, right? Now, the, the people still have a good point. It's it's still nine billion coming out in thirty days, and <laughs> so, somebody's going to decide what they're going to do with it. But it's but it's nine billion versus what they're going to do with it versus probably what the effective uh, you know the effective uh, circulating supply is, which is really around ten ten billion. In yeah. my it, in my opinion, right. mm -hmm. uh, if DJ could share the the screen uh, the screen I have here just to show you the chart I was mentioning. Uh, what the heck is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Ah, uh, no, no, sorry. What the heck? Um, <laughs> no, not the, that this one. one. Not yeah, that yeah. <laughs> so basically, this is the stakes that were ended since the first uh, January two thousand twenty-one, and the ones that will end until the first of January two thousand twenty-five. And you can see from two thousand twenty-one to 2000, to where we are right now, which is this line. The amount of stakes that the T shares that were, uh, came out of stakes, so the the cumul cumulative sum of stake X shares that were ended, and the ones that are expected to be ended, when I look at this, to, to me, it feels very bullish, right? If you compare <laughs> this to this, you can see a big difference, right? Very what do we see yeah. here? I don't get this one. What is this? The basically, this is the sum of stake T shares that ended on this date. Oh right. Okay. okay. So mm -hmm. from the first January two thousand twenty one, like each uh, in interval of time. It's super was bullish though. If you are staked for Quattro Cinco, you know. Yeah, and basically, this means that a, lo a lot less uh, T shares are coming out in the next two years. Then yes. actually came out on the previous two years. Yes. <clears throat> so Which if we push think up about the what the payout as well, right? Yeah, of course it depends what the system does from now on. If more people start to pile in and stake more, taking, then that yeah. might change. Yeah. Uh, but this helps me have an idea of how much was in stake already uh, during these past two years versus mm -hmm. what is coming. Uh, and if we think about what happened to the price in this two-year period, we can try and speculate what will probably happen right. in the next two years, right? Yeah. Nice. So it's just this small thing that I wanted to to show. No, I think that fits perfect with what what we're talking about because um, when I go when I go here, and this is the other the other analysis, and you guys you were looking at, but. Um, you know, I just I just stepped through um, I just stepped through the supply analysis, but real high level, you know, annualized inflation is on a down, downtrend, two year downtrend, right? Mm -hmm. And that that that's looking at what's coming out. And so yes, that does mean that inflation is being pushed into the future, but we're realizing less and less right now. Uh, the other yeah, thing, and, and and the more inflation is pushed into the future, the less inflation actually comes out because. Uh, the inflation that is, since usually if you if all the inflation would be released on yearly ba yearly basis, the 3.69 percent uh, would be compounded, which means that the inflation would also account for accumulate towards the next year's inflation. But if it's delayed like 15 years, that compounding effect in the inflation is not really released into the system, and it's in, delayed indefinitely right right and, and even even that you know take that a step further the yield that will be generated has not been generated yet and because it hasn't been generated it does not inflate exactly and so it's kind of it, yeah it's fun but <laughs> you know at the thumbnail level um again when people say hey you know hex is getting more scarce well this is this is what's been up for sale Right. Two, right. A, a two plus year downtrend of the amount of the amount that people are willing to put up for sale. Doesn't mean that people won't make decisions to sell. But I, again, very bullish. Right. Because very bullish. Why are these people yeah. not selling their hex? Mm -hmm. Right. And so they must have a reason why they're not selling it. And a lot of that has to do with us. And then the other huge one was, uh, I think, really adjusting uh, 
the circulating supply, take the uh, OA out of it. Now, this requires that you you believe um, that the OA is a um, stabilizing force, right? But, you know, that gets us down to a much lower number when we take the OA out um, of the picture, something like around 17 billion at the moment. Mm -hmm. Um, being being in the circulating area, and then I went all the way to starting to compare to what they do in uh, in Bitcoin and Ethereum, where they talk about inactive addresses. And over forty two percent of the supply that that's already been adjusted for the OA um, hasn't moved in over a year. No, and when I say hasn't moved, nobody's done any transaction on these wallets with hex in them. This accounts for the stack that is locked to, into shady contracts that were done previously and are just there. Oh, they, it could oh. it could be some of that, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but you know, it's still somebody has this hex, <clears throat> and if and whether whether it's uh, contracts not doing anything with it or it's just holders. Like for instance, uh, a number of the wallets will be uh, will have that hundred airdrop in there. Mm -hmm. um, but it's a small percentage. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't run the numbers, but the rest of it is is there, and, and it kind of signals if we were to apply kind of like the Bitcoin approach to this, right? It signals that these are long term holders, hodlers that are willing to wait a really long time. Well, now, I don't mean to put people... you on the on the spot, but do you have in your chart said something on the good accounting? topic or or what is your view on on the good accounting matter because that has been sort of a, a hot theme here on the show the past two weeks no oh, sure sure yeah i have um i i, I have a whole write-up on that my stance on it is that uh, at the surface right let them bleed but um <laughs> but, but there's more new there's more nuance to it. yeah there's there's nuance <laughs> to that because um when you're talking about a good a good a good hexagon actor like the godwell then i think it was exactly the right thing to, to good account that without knowing if the godwell had some other intent I don't it think was not the godwell it was a it was a, a oa address is what no there was about. also a godwell uh, the God, oh the godwell good accountant oh okay, okay. Both. no yeah, no yeah, uh, both. So, i think you, it you was mean, uh, the most recent one but the godwell was starting to bleed the recent like, one was yeah, yeah 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 yeah, I understand. Sorry, my 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 mistake. No, it's all good. What and the hex? Yeah. Uh, so I went <laughs> over to the, <laughs> I went over to the hex fire site. I'm going to go to the advanced staking data, and and uh, you know this probably um, goes towards what you were looking at. Um, whether we like it or not, uh, people have been good accounting. Um, so I went to, this is my little panel where I can go see the ones that were good account. I really wanted to pull up unclaimed hex. There was a time where we had over a billion hex in here, mm. um, to be good accounted. And, uh, yeah. And, uh, there is, there's a group of people that feel very strongly about this and they go in and, and good account stakes. Um, don't know who they are, but they're doing it. And well, it really probably... has completed this. Yeah. Yeah, probably they do it before a stake they have ends to make sure that th their stake receives the benefit. Because if it's good accounted afterwards, their True. stake won't benefit from it. So True. probably exactly. Yeah, probably before the end stake. Actually, in the the chat for Pulsechain, we talked about this because there was I think it was even Crypto Goose that uh, said, "Okay, we, we can see uh, because there are front ends that show uh, what." Uh, late stakes exist and after before we end our stake if it's prof profitable in terms of gas fees to end it we can just end it before we, we end our stake and receive an extra payday at at that time so. yep 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 alan yep. Jose May has a question uh DJ yes Japan. for crispy man yeah it's not not a super chat but still we still honor all all, we still honor all, all questions. well yeah alan <laughs> is it elon or alan I, I call him Elaine. It's Elon. It's Elaine. It's Elaine. Come on, Eileen. It very <laughs> well. It very well may be true that you know that what RG three is saying is you're going to have to wait for it because the only way you get more hex into the system is by somebody ending a stake or good accounting a stake. But that doesn't matter because that that gets pushed into the, either the stakes or the OA and to now uh, up to now the OA doesn't do anything with it. So the only way circulating supply goes up is by someone ending a stake. 
Yep. Wow. That's actually we, have leave, we have to leave time for the Dirty Hippies uh, home movies that he's going to show it's us. Bullish. It's I don't know. Can, you, can you read this? Yeah, where he's harvesting people, other people's watermelons in their backyard and you, foraging. You guys told me to prepare something, and I didn't because that's how I am. So. What? <laughs> what know, the shit. heck are you fucking playing yeah, at, Dirty? Exactly. Yeah, what horrible. the heck? Can yeah. you do so it next non -nom, time? Can uh, non-nom has a, a, has a show. Make... Maybe. I can, I can tell you I will do it. And, uh, <laughs> no expectations of photos <laughs> of others. Well, of certainly jokes comes to take. Of others. What did the fish say when the beer gave it a drink? It's all fizz, but tastes may. <laughs> Brilliant. Minus point. Hey, guys, I have hey a guys. joke. A grasshopper walks into the bar, and the bartender says, Hey! We've got a drink named after you. And the grasshopper says, Oh, really? You have a drink named Irving? <laughs> waka waka. Now, would I, any I, of I love you it because it sounds like she's, speakers it sounds like she was taking shots. Joke. Didn't it sound like she was taking shots when she was trying to tell the joke? <laughs> she, she like, like a lineup of shots and she's like, Hey. It sounded a bit tipsy. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> Very um, good. And Alan wants me to ring in this sound effect. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. There you go. It's all, it's all coming together. Yeah, so Markable uh, had, has... Uh, you did prepare something. You, you sent me uh, yeah. pictures from... Uh, Show us some pictures. What the heck? What the heck? So, and I'll just run through these and real quick. And, and Chris, thank you so please, much for please, that. Please, no nudes. Please, no that, that presentation. I um, mean, if you, if you see my nudes, everything will be covered by beard anyway. I mean, it's a half exactly. nude here. Like, what the heck, Markable? So here heck? are you nice. strolling along wow. the beach with your backpack. Yeah. You, <laughs> that's a backpack, yeah. <laughs> Is that it? That's wait a second. He, he, wait, wait, wait. Well known, Mopa, that Mopa hair, Zura. that hair, that's not markable, is it? Hey. <laughs> no, it is. And I didn't know you had an anarchist. I, if you if you zoom in in the top left, yeah. Top left. You know what left is? Yeah. <laughs> top, top. And then look, coconuts. there's coconut. Wow. Yeah, that's where and they is, ah. there have, It's there coca been, fruit, by the way. And there's a sign saying not to throw gra uh, um, garbage in the, the beach. Do it not, says, uh, don't, don't, some, don't, don't be a point, dirty hippie in our country. To, I learned yeah. how to get coconuts out of the trees and then oh. to cut them open. And then and, I had dinner for the night. It was amazing. Uh, with, these, with these guys? Did you see no, guys? Not these guys? No, these I guys. saw these guys, but they were assholes. They were, they were assholes. <laughs> they were uh, assholes. Uh, XRP so, guys. So I did what any what any reasonable person would do. I smashed their guitar and then I ripped their heads off. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> nice. Well done. Um, well, yeah. And then you the went to Panama you, City. Yeah. yeah, this is a Panama City after the um, the pandemic. After the rain. Almost, there's no, almost no one. And the zombies are wow. there. Those are not clouds. Those are those are uh, the smoke. Mushrooms. Um, yeah, the zombies. Uh, cotton, cotton balls. Completely zombies. overran the the city, and um, yeah. there's nothing left. Nice. Wow. Nice. The best hey, there's nothing left. The Only destruction. Us, the last of us. Yeah. They even, took the water. Even so the zombies, <laughs> the zombies, they they drank all the water. The last of us. <laughs> and so now the boats. <laughs> Oh, the boats are all stranded. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And, but but there's there's here? there's a there's a nice thing about it as well because there are no people anymore to um, drive the boats, so the boats can just chill on the on the sand now. They can just nice. yeah. Yeah, I told you here. You can you can see it. Total destruction here. Destruction. But this is like wow. the wall of fame, isn't it? With the graffiti going on and wow, that's awesome. I don't know. I just see a tree, and that's the most important part. Oh, shut up. I like trees. And you said the, the buses work? The buses work. <laughs> yep, the buses work. <laughs> they drive. It's fast, it's it's fast to get they around, actually, right? They actually have a very good uh, bus system in yeah. Panama. Like it's, it's very easy to get everywhere. And uh -huh. it's cheap as shit. Wow. So that's good. So what were the high points of Panama? 
Well, before uh, we that get building, we're going through it. Middle. Come on, shut up. We're, we're, we're going through it. This, this is your shut up. hotel, right? You the stay building. At, no, at shut up. It's my, and it's my holiday. Randy Ilaski is streaming from Boy, King's Landing. This is my holiday, so shut the fuck up. Yes? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Please continue. Elmer asked me, job. what is the highest point of my holiday? And <laughs> you see that it's building it's there. there. <laughs> <laughs> you asshole. And on top of, That's great. <laughs> I stood on top there. And that was the highest point, I think. It's very high. And you were high. That high. was very high. Looking at this. Yeah. <laughs> How high did you get? Well, you can see it here. I can count the stories if you want. So these oh, are my friends. Oh, wild life. <laughs> what the they, fuck? These are my friends. What the they, heck? They joined me on, on my the journey. At some, first, first, they tried to steal some food and, yes. and a watch. Um, and but then I it. told them no. And from then on, I no. was... I was the the alpha of the group, and they right. followed me around. Did and you use the biggest that's how I got. Pillow when that's you were actually out on the how streets? I got food every day because um, they brought it to you. They brought it to me, and they went also, to the garbage can and brought it. To you. No, actually, <laughs> Azura. No, actually, not. I I told them what restaurant I wanted to go, and they would just give me money that the they just stole from other tourists, and then I had food. So okay. That's how you live off of nature. You just get mm -hmm. other animals to steal shit from people. Nice. Awesome. Good. Does that work in Portugal as well? Am I? No, unfortunately. No. no, I will show you that it works. It's just you need to have a good beard. And then, and then you have the Corona, <laughs> Corona beer with uh, Randy Hilarski and Abit Hex. You met both of them? No, that's not Abit. That's me. Oh, that's you. It's hard to see with the sunglasses, but if you I take was like, the sunglasses off, you see that it's not David, it's me. Wow. Right, you're doing your best impression. It's, of a it's hard. <laughs> yeah, that's a really with good the hat and the, and the sunglasses, right? but it's right. real close. Me. And nice. you can, yeah, it's normally you would see my beard, but my hand is in front of it, so... Yeah. Ah. It's so what is Randy hand. like in, in person? Like, I'm always scared when he does his uh, rooftop musings that he falls into the pool one day. But that never happened, at least on camera. It didn't. Well, I don't, I'm not scared of that. I hope it happens. That would be cool. <laughs> Randy, be if you ever fall in the pool, please film it. Thank you. That'd be fun to watch. That would be amazing. Be beardly, yeah. Beardly, how do these two guys smell? And being a dirty hippie yourself that only bathes yourself in the ocean anyway, could you tell what they smelled like? Give us some insight. I mean, overall, I just smell my own beard. So oh, I don't right. really smell life. You don't smell life? Okay. No, my beard just, it's all I need. So right. I don't, yeah, I don't need okay. to smell. So. Right on. Yeah. So here we're putting uh, the chairs out or what's going on? I mean, A little alfresco? Is, yeah. Someone's putting chairs out. They're Why not the best chairs the in the chair? world, I think. Ah, okay. But, uh. Because yeah. the church, <laughs> they're not the best uh, stairs because of the church. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Then the, there's on. the Panama Canal, obviously. Oh, yeah, so obviously. You see that? And which is which was, was very underwhelming for a Dutch guy because we have canals. As yeah, well. the Gracht. Yes. And, and probably it was built by Dutch people, anyways. So it's like, yeah. I, and I, tell you what, I'll they built that. this thing right through the freaking land rainforest. Yeah, I mean, what the yes. heck? People died of yellow fever doing it. Oh, by the way, I, I saw a, a porno once called the Panama Anal. Ew. Let nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, get my continue. boomer hat. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I saw that one as well on holiday. It was yeah. great. Yeah. Five stars. Thank you. All right. Okay. Continue, Here please. Um, so what's this? <clears throat> I think that's a restaurant. <laughs> what, what do you think? What do you think? Give me the <laughs> like, what, what, what do I know? Anyway, moving on. This is where you wash your dirty laundry, right? What? Yeah, that's laundry, all right. <laughs> were were there, was there yeah, marine life in that water that you could see? Could you see any fishies? I saw, I saw I on my holiday, I saw dolphins. Dolphins, okay. And um, I saw monkeys. Monkeys. Okay. That was the most important part of my holiday because I never Did had seen dolphins monkeys? and I never had seen monkeys. Oh. And now I have. And now I'm I'm an adult. And what did you think of them now that you've seen them and you've broken your wildlife, aquatic wildlife cherry, so to speak? 
and 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 swinging of simian life what do, what cool. do you think yeah pretty cool all right yeah pretty cool they don't have a beard well the monkeys they don't have do they, monkeys no, do. The, monk, the monkeys do so the monkeys definitely were better than the dolphins mm. but then again i mean who doesn't like dolphins they're pretty cool did yeah. the monkeys did the monkeys yeah. come come steal from you or no no they just chilled in the in the trees because they had food enough so i just he can go with a cage or something i tried to climb with them but yeah they run away go to india oh also i got bit i almost got bitten by by a snake no that's a termite nest but whoa (laughs) termite nest monkey in a tree termite nest but um monkey on a rock i think it's um termites and nests are in the ground i thought like the big Mounds. Uh, I don't think they do it in no, trees. No, I've seen it? a lot of these nests in, in Panama, and they're all on the branches. But it could also be something different. But I think it's like w- wasps or hornets or something. No, or something. no, it definitely looks. No, I don't think so. It's weird. And is this the maybe we have to Google that after the party? The what? No, remarkable. You could have saw dolphins in in Portugal near Estubo. I know. I know you're cool like that. But um, no, I go to the other side of the world to see dolphins. Thank you very yeah. much. Okay. Yes. And, and what happened here? Whoa. Wow. I don't know. I think that's Photoshop to hell. Is that your girlfriend? No, my girlfriend. Is that, is that your no. starfish? Yes, that is my <laughs> starfish. If you would turn it around, you would see um, property of the beard. When Bob's. There you go. Go. What? Uh, what? Right, yeah, awesome. that was great. Thank you for these pictures. Good. But but the questions that's I have so is like, it's advertised for crypto people to, you know, break down their tents and all. Let's all move to Panama. And uh, was would you say, did you come? Because I know you're looking for places around the world. Would you say that's an option or not? After you've been there, I mean, it can be nice. Yes, but I'm not gonna live there. <laughs> Why? <laughs> That's pretty definitive, yeah. What is if your I, resume? Like, why? If I, well, it kind of boils down to, can I climb a tree without being scared of, of snakes? Snakes, yeah. And um, in Panama, the answer is no. So I'm not going to live there because I want to climb trees, you know. So that's, yeah, it's a good, okay. good measure. <laughs> that's nice. Well, right. that was a great segment. I feel like I visited Panama as much as I. I feel cared, enlightened cared personally. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for these this pictures. Is, That's really great. very nice. Yeah, I'm nice. actually. I'm. I'm glad I got this off of my chest. This. Yeah. This feels good. Oh. I'm. I'm awesome. also glad that I could add so much value after the amazing presentation of uh, Crispy Man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I can add all that value to this community. And tune well, in next then, time when we hear from Peter <laughs> for more than a sentence. <laughs> so, nice. a crispy man, thank you so much for being on the show. Do you have any? You have the final word. Anything to shill? Anything to add to Hexfire.io? Is that where can people can interact with you? Are you on Twitter? What? Yeah, I'm, where of course I'm. You, of course I'm everywhere. My branding's a little screwed up, but uh, in in here on YouTube, I've got a channel. So it's Hexfire.io. And then uh, out on the best place to contact me is probably right through the website, hexfire.io. And have fun with it. I'm always looking for ideas to pick them up. Crispy man, uh, I got yeah, a question for you and for Elmire. When Pulse Chain is going to launch, are you guys going to both do time back in the Telegram chat and help the newbies kind of get on the whole thing? like we once did at least for the first couple of days of the launch to hand it over to people. You think you're going to put in your time back in there again? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, sure. I actually oh. missed the, the chat. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I thought I thought about opening the chat myself once or twice, but then I have the, the kid running around and uh, right. Right. Maybe next time. <laughs> so we make a pact then as soon as we know that pulse chain is, we'll jump in know, there. Yeah, Richard calls the, the the range or whatever. We open it up, and I predict that we're going to have hundreds of people not knowing what the hell to do. People that haven't even spent their time refreshing, uh, you know, themselves with the test net. People that are going to ask us, "What is this whole pulse chain thing all about?" 
and uh, we're going to need admins at the everybody, uh, all hands on deck, so to speak. So good that you guys oh, yeah. are committed to that, and thank you for your service. Really Even fun. today, we have uh, admins uh, there uh, keeping the the Telegram channels in order. So yeah. I think it it would be just a question of knowing when, and everyone would jump in to try and help as, as we did before. Yeah, my my number one objective with that would be. Uh, Right. We know that people are going to get scammed and that that's the that's the thing is to catch those scams as they're starting and get people turned off, you know, because a lot of people will be smart enough to ask a question. They'll be like, ah, what about this? This guy just said that for me to do this, I have to send them all my tokens and we can say, no, don't do that. And then they'll stop. <laughs> right. They won't do that, you know, yeah. uh, the, the right. thing that uh, uh, boggles me the most is like people that were sent DMs and then take print screens and paste it on the actual Pulse Chain chat and etc. And the admins have to always be there deleting. Don't reply to DMs, DMs are scams. Like every day, it's like a hundred messages doing DMs, uh, saying DMs are scams, DMs are scams, but people still fall for them. And it's like, yep. why? Why? Mm -hmm. Yep. And I also predict that there's going to be a wave of people that already have compromised wallets that don't know it. Oh, and they're yeah, going to see sure. the tokens get dropped. I would like to kind of have a quick question to everybody. <laughs> and that is, have you moved your goodies to a fresh wallet? Because you should, right? So the moment that you come in and say, hey, I'm rich. Look at all my goodies. Um, no, no, no. Move them to a fresh wallet. Make sure that you couldn't hold on to them. Make sure your wallet is upgraded in terms of security posture. Maybe you create a 24 word seed phrase on a hardware wallet with a passphrase if you didn't do it before and start fresh there we're not talking about long-term staking anymore we're talking about liquid assets that are always ready to be yanked from you so yep. that's what i'm going to start by a you know qualifying question from everybody i have right. four treasures fresh treasures just ready to to start ready to go yes yeah, well, to go. anyway speaking heck? of ready to go I think it's time for us Goodbye. to go as well. Check out Papa B Security Roundtable Twitter Spaces tonight. Tonight. On, uh, the interwebs. Tonight. And tonight. tune in for our compadres from Hispa Hex tomorrow afternoon. <laughs> and hang out as well with IG3. And uh, Crypty Man, thank you so much for being on the show. Markable, what do you say? Fuck. Outro.